Hi, I'm James from the University of Oxford, and in the next few minutes I'm going to explain my research to you. What you can see behind me is known as an MRI scanner, and it produces images of the body similar to this. But how do we get this image? I'm going to use light to help explain how we get images and some of the difficulties that we come across when we want to acquire images of the body. An MRI scanner you might find in your local hospital has good illumination across the entire brain, meaning we can see the entire brain evenly. Bright and dark regions in the image tell us about different structures in the brain. However, my research uses a much more powerful MRI scanner. The problem is that the stronger the MRI scanner, the light source we use to see into the brain gives a more uneven illumination. There are bright and dark regions which aren't just due to the structure of the brain, but as a result from how we're imaging it. Since we're unable to light the brain evenly, certain parts of the brain are darker and it becomes harder to see what's there. And this problem is even worse when you're trying to get images elsewhere in the body, like in the heart, which is further away from your light source. The solution is instead of using a single torch, we can use lots of torches and position them to try and illuminate the entire brain more evenly. But having lots of torches isn't very helpful if you don't know where to put them. So, we need to find out where to place these torches. And this means we need to know how much each torch lights up different parts of the brain. Essentially, we want to create a map of where in the brain we can see well and where in the brain we cannot. With this information, we can place the torches to illuminate the entire brain more evenly. This helps us get better images because we get the same amount of light everywhere in the image. If you didn't do this, it would be like using a camera without focusing it first. You just wouldn't get good pictures. Obtaining these maps could take a lot of time, since you need to repeat this process for however many torches we're using. But we wouldn't want whoever's in the scanner to be waiting forever whilst we acquire this data, whilst we focus our camera. My work shows that we can obtain these maps in just a few seconds for the entire brain, which means we can go on to obtain better images of the body. But for now, we can get on with the scan.